Hello everyone and welcome back to Fiery Tropico. There is once again a meteor shower hitting us hard at the moment. It's more meteors than usual. We got six fires already as they're coming down on my buildings. Of course, the most important ones, we can send helicopters right away. Um, that is really fast. There is the helicopter, right? And poof, that was it. Fire gone. And we can do the same thing with the cannery. Way faster, but of course, manual jobs, manual tasks that we need to do here. Now, in the last episode, we have started with our tourists, tourist district, our first one. There is going to be a second one, a much bigger one than that. But of course, we have to start somewhere. Look at that. 75 people just came with the latest freighter, by the way. That is the meteor shower. We accepted all refugees. Uh, perhaps a bit of a mistake now that I think about it. We only have 70, 27 left vacant homes. And we got a lot of families right now, uneducated, and those with high school education that want to do something. Hmm. Both hotels are full, so let's start by yeah, in uh, expanding my my tourism district. So we do have room for two more hotels. So this is kind of like my hotel alley that we have there. I would definitely also like to have a second cabana village, probably somewhere over there at the end of it. Um, let's also mix in some parks again, like this, and then also make a connection going all the way behind the hotels. This is really just for the looks. That we separate it a bit from the rest. We could also offer balloon tours around Tropico. Let's do this. Having another service building here. Of course, that's always good for more employees that we can have then. And we can definitely also have another hotel here. Because there's also the metro station here affecting this one. And people, I think, can just go over this one here. I mean, it is it is totally fine, right? By the way, election in 18 months. The support rating is at 85 right now. I think that's because of the meteor storm, though, that we have. Which usually skyrockets support rating temporarily. So this is not going to be our final number. Also, my next big city expansion is coming along nicely. The first houses are coming up. That's residences that we need really right away. And also my big cathedral, improving my religious um, quality here again, my faith quality again, my parameter for that. Two banks we have on top of everything, producing me now 590 and 500. It should also be 590 then once this is fully working again, we moved it. Uh, nothing else that I need to do here. Let's increase the budget. Making a bit of cash there in addition per month, by the way, I think. Yep. So that's quite a lot. That's over a thousand per month that we earn just from the banks. However, I cannot have more than two um, as the diminishing return value is just too high for this. We can definitely add here some more houses to this area, right? So we got a few more of these buggers lining up. There's my electrical substation. Perhaps I can integrate this a bit better into the whole area there you go so that i can have another house in this area that should be possible yes very good now we can also see that our tourist rating slightly is going up now so it's at six up from zero of course the higher the tourist rating and the more tourists come in and we got 137 tourists already out of the 500 that we need oh no i finished the car trade route those are usually very profitable and we definitely will need to check if we have another one we don't hmm i think there's going to be some harder times for us now there's a chocolate uh we are exporting chocolate already can't do that really i mean i can do it theoretically let's go ahead and that's it, though. Ah, a bit of rum. We're still selling rum. But we have it for the local production. Plus, it's really not that much coin. So let's not do it. More important is that my hotels are coming along. Very good. Both of them finished. Both of them are fully employed, of course. We still need some more tourists now to come in. Let's also upgrade the air conditioning for those, at least. And there is also our balloon tours. Finally up and running. For this one, you need to set a route, so where it starts and where it ends, it starts here and goes then all the way, I think, over my city. Hmm, is that a smart move? Over my government district? Hmm. Might also just make it over the beach area here, to be honest. Can we... Yeah, we can hopefully make it all the way up here. This would be cool. And with that, that tour starts. Oh yes, tourism is booming. We got 30 plus tourists now with the latest 
first trip. So also these hotels here now are filling up already, generating us cash. The election was won, though quite decisively so. I was not expecting anything less. People love El Presidente, after all. All right, we need to keep the housing promise, though. Um, that's going to cost me, for sure. I'm going to increase the budget for all my houses to at least the second last level. That's the houses, that's the flop houses where most of my people live. Mm, I could also do the electrification. Boy, that is going to be expensive. 270 megawatt. I think that's not going to happen for a while. I'm also pleased to report that the first cathedral is working in Tropico now. And lots of people are going to it already, of course. Uh, the cathedral starts emitting 15 crime safety. Learning professionals. All right, I'll take this as we have residents living next to it. Um, another thing is we do have... There is the metro station. Very good. It's still centrally enough. All right, another thing I would like to do now is um, these guys here. There's not that many living in that one. These houses are staffed a bit, but I still would like to get rid of that. Let's move the houses. I'm going to move them, yeah, further over here into this area for now. And this one. And one flop house, we can, we should still be able to move somewhere else. Where can I squeeze you in here, beside my industrial zone? That's fine for you. And the other ones we are just going to get rid of. Together with the tavern, the parks. And that road here. Because I would like to use the space now that already goes down here to the fun pier for an extension of my nightlife district. That is the luxury entertainment. We also have these cabarets here. They should be moved a bit further away there, I think. As for my taste, at least they're too close to the government district. And, oh, by the way, this is going to be nasty here. I think, yeah, we cannot build anything on top of that. But it's fine, it looks like it belongs to it, for now. Um, and then a bit more luxury entertainment in the form of a nightclub. We do have everything for that. Overlooking the beach area. And definitely also a gourmet restaurant closer to the palace, of course. I think I don't have... Hmm, I do have a metro station down there. The next one would be then in this area. No, we don't need that. We have enough metro stations to cover the whole area. Perfect. So I can really just go ahead and add some smaller parks to this. With the space that we have in the center, of course, we should honor <laughs> the, the childhood of El Presidente with the childhood museum. We can do this right here in the center. And I would also like to have a mausoleum. Look at the size of this thing. Mm, yep. Overlooking the central area. And I might actually also... I think that's fine for now. I was thinking about a park. Something like that. And yes, well, the newly built nightclub, of course, is very popular right away and full. Uh, since my hotels are filling up, let's go ahead with adding two more to this area. Uh, also, of course, also with the occasional parks in between. Could never die. And I think, because of the radio message, we also have finished the Childhood Museum and the Mausoleum especially. This is the important part. Though I think we might need to move it somewhere else. I don't know if I like it so much in the center of the city. I think a quieter place would be much better for this. So perhaps a bit further here to the... at the back of my city. Right over here. Mm, if we can build that road towards it. There you go. I think that's a bit safer, further away from everything. Alright, and with everything, we have the tourists available now to advance to the next era. And that would be progress to modern times. Unfortunately, as far as I know, I cannot get rid of this message. So this time I cannot decide my own era jump, right? But in that case, everything here is locked. And I need to progress to modern times with that. So let's go ahead. 1972, a bit early perhaps, but fine for me nevertheless. Presidente, the Cold War is over. 
The future is now present. And with that, of course, a few more things are coming into play now. The first one is, once again, my constitution. Um, in that case, we have two more tabs available. The personal rights. So, police stations check all residents and brokers in their crime safety radius and detect hidden roles. You could also go with privacy rights. Security checkpoints are prohibited from discovering hidden roles. Increases the global level TV. Let's go, go ahead with this. As it's also going to increase my support rating. And elections are the most important thing. I don't want to have a police state, to be honest. We could also go down this route, but I think this is better here. And healthcare is actually the, the tipping point here. And we're going with a paid healthcare. We have the money. And clinics and hospitals determine the required economic wealth and service fee individually. And the efficiency is increased by 20% which is amazing. It does cost me the most, but it is also increasing efficiency the most. Let's confirm these changes. It's going to be expensive, to be honest. And yeah, with that, we have a whole bunch of new things available now, unlocking the rest of the, the buildings. And that is especially, once again, the case with the industry. And the first order of business I would like to do regarding industry is also the most important one, the most significant one, and that is the farming upgrade, the agric agricultural upgrade. We no longer need these plantations here now, as we have unlocked a new type of that, and that is the hydroponic plantation. And cultivates a chosen type of a crop to produce the good, and is independent from local crop conditions. So we can basically build it anywhere, and it will always have the best efficiency. The other one also that we can unlock right away while we're in the area is the automated mine. Um, that will upgrade now my mines to also not pollute the area anymore. Before we do that, we're going to see a significant jump though in power usage. Let's have a look there real quick. I do have my nuclear power plant, produces 800 megawatt. We also have the offshore wind turbines, produce, produces electrical power, quite a lot so too, by the way, without the need of uranium. And we can also build the solar power plant. This is actually the one that I would like to go here. 450 megawatt of power um, without any input really, right? It just costs me a lot and that's it. So out here in the wilderness, we can start with that, building us the first solar power plant that is going to produce us a lot of electricity and with that we can also enable then the plantation upgrade there it is modernize upgrade this building to a hydroponic plantation and i think we should do this for all of them right away there you go a new building up and running very good high school education i'm so happy we do need more high school people again Let's increase the budget right away. And we can also upgrade it to a super surface 3000 mega upgrade <laughs> for 5000 to increase efficiency a bit more. This is now producing 653 megawatt. And that is almost as much as the base atomic or nuclear power plant is doing, right? So in that case, not so bad overall. Network balance is fine. And with that, we can now afford the modernize for all my plantations. And ladies and gents, look at that. Boom. Beautiful, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> and with that, we have now hydroponic plants. And they don't consume that much space anymore. So let's go ahead and just get us them here in this area where I'm going to combine them all together. And the last one, we can also move now over here. Now this has the biggest impact on the economy, I'd say, because not only does it not require uneducated workers now, it requires high school education. And we do have a lot of high school people already, and there is also now a valid reason to just boost them up even further. Let's go ahead and make this here complete, this block. There's still this road that we don't really need towards the mine, right? And these people, of course, well, they need to get to their jobs, so we do need to have a, a metro station for sure now for this whole area. There's already one here that now we don't need to move i can have my metro station over here and definitely also parking garages so let's have one here and one here so those people can also use cars get back and forth we still have a bit of room for more we would have room for a whole lot more of plantations if i like to all right they're all going to produce now the crop that was already there at a base efficiency of 130 let's upgrade this one to 162 right away just with the highest budget so that's a massive jump already. And we can then further upgrade this with the mechanization. But let's wait for people to move in, really. 
we should also see the same thing here now so unemployment rate for the uneducated is going through the roof of course right so those people they don't have really anything to work now anymore vacant jobs for high school is at 51 so i've lost all high school unemployment rate now the price of fish, shellfish, and cheese are increased. All right, no, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't care really about that. High school people, why are you still un unemployed? I think they need to get accustomed to that for now. With the uneducated, though, well, we do have the tourism sector, right? Uneducated people work a lot in these service areas, so in the hotels, for example. We have also unlocked the family resort now with the modern homes. Also, a very good position for uneducated people to live in or to work in. And of course, we could have that right here in at the center of the beach area where it's going then towards the beach. So let's go ahead and add some two of them. And there's also my latest one, the beach resort. Provides fun for visiting citizens and tourists alike. A new building for the beach area. For the ones that don't get a job, well, we still have the option of adding now high schools. Let's add two more high schools to the whole city. So no one should say we don't provide the opportunity for higher education. And look at the space we have now right here in the center. There's still the manure spreader. I wonder... Does this affect now those hydroponic plantations? That would be interesting to know. We have 162. I don't think so. No, efficiency basically stays the same. Next up is also to modernize the mines. Uh, we can do this with one click for all of them. And with this one here, uneducated is still there. We can increase the budget once again. And this is now basically just producing a whole lot more of the basic resources, while also reducing the pollution significantly with the smelting everything. We could increase it again. Mm, let's not do this for now. I mean, for the ones outside here, we can totally do it. For the ones that are closer to the residential zone, like this one here, we'd rather not. With so many plantations now in this area, we definitely need to add some Teamster offices as well. Let's add two of them. So that we can also transport all the resources back and forth. One thing we can definitely add to the city center right away is the shopping mall sells edible goods and provides food to the households of visiting citizens. It requires eight uneducated workers and sells consumer goods as well to increase the happiness value of all citizens. Uh, let's go ahead. It's a pretty big building and we got lots of people in the surrounding area profiting from this. To further reduce unemployment rate, we can also go ahead and add some of these factory ranches. They only require uneducated and definitely should add a few of them because we need, still need animal goods. So let's go ahead. By the way, that metro station, move it a bit further over here, I think, because we already have most of the things covered. Or we just keep it. Actually, let's just keep it there and add the factory ranches around it. And probably also something to eat for all the workers here. A fast food joint right next to the metro station. One thing we could have out here, because we do have the space as well, and we do have the, the bustling industry area growing around it, is our first cargo airport. We don't have that yet. There it is. Very expensive, really. 18,000. Six uneducated workers can work in that. And this is kind of like acting like our port, right? As it's just there to export goods out of my out of my island. So let's go ahead and build us that cargo airport out here. Might also have another team store office close by. And a metro station we should have in the area too. 
That's going to be a lot of construction and it's going to take some time for all of this to finish. The EU has a demand. By the way, this also, of course, introduces now the new super hub powers. Um, we need to do this quickly. My export rating is collapsing here, as I can see. That's because, of course, once again, we have reset it with all the superpowers. And we got five of them now. So the first thing I would like to do here is getting rid of these mansions. We do have a mansion district, right? It's down here and it can stay there. By the way, I could add some more uh, to the area. So another one here and another one here. They don't need a direct road connection as far as I know. Moving them a bit further away. There's also the fast foot joint. Let's move this one up here to this area. And with that, we can move the customs office a bit further away. And also the immigration office. And give us two more slots here in my embassy district to build more embassies. Let's actually quickly build them because I want to get a good reputation with all of them. We might also launch the Edict Diplomatic Superpower. Increases the standing of each superpower by 20 upon activation right away. So this gives me a nice jump start there as well to all my relationships. And let's get the superpowers going. USA, let's praise them right away. 86. The EU, praise them right, right away. Um, China for sure. And also Russia for sure. Middle East, I'm actually living out right now. We should not do this. And let's build us another embassy out here. Alright, and with the good relationships, let's try to get some good trade rods again. Because we have no trade rods active right now. And hopefully we get some good prices. Yeah, prices are still low. That was to be expected, I guess. And plastics we would have with 16%. That's not very high. Uh, 52,000, the volume is also extremely high for this. Uh, sugar, tobacco, mm, weapons, 27. Let's go with a medium for now so we can quickly finish those and increase our reputation further, which is the important thing here. Clothing um, for the EU and also for Russia. We do have a very high um, clothing output. The same goes with the chocolate. Yep, very good for China and Russia alike. It, of course, also every time re reduces the relationship with the others, right? So we need to make sure that we mix this one up a bit here um, to stay on track with all of them. Let's go with 70 here and 70 middle ground here for the clothing. And I think that's all we can export right now. Steel, I do need for myself. No boats, no cars, no weapons. That's, of course, once reputation gets a bit higher. And as we can see, we're almost now at 100% here with Russia and China. Uh, the EU is at 87, that's fine, and the USA is at 74. Also, the freighters look much better. <laughs> and hopefully we can increase my trade rating there again. Even though, of course, trade is not the only way of um, getting income for us at this point. We also have uh, revenue now, and that is the tourist services are already 41,000. Of course, that is still really small in comparison to a weak export rating right now, but still, it's something that is climbing now over time. And the next attractions and hotels have been finished too in the tourist area. That is the beach resource and the family resource. I would love to go for some wave serving right now. Now construction here takes some time. We have too much construction going on somewhere else. I might consider a second construction office um, to speed things up. Let's do this. That also adds once again some jobs for my people. And this is for uneducated, which is of course something that we very much need. Let's go ahead and quickly build this right away. And also add four more job positions to it and increase the budget. So far so good. My industry needs to kind of like get started again with all the moving and upgrading. And we continue onwards here then in the next episode to exciting modern times. Stay tuned.